Spurs still interesting, but clock's all wrong without Kawhi Leonard even Greg Popovich must be wondering how San Antonio got here. This is the most vulnerable Spurs team he has coached since the pre-Tim Duncan era, inept on the road and fashioning only the tired remnants of a dynasty. The Spurs will be outclassed by the Warriors in the first round playoff series opening Saturday at Oracle Arena, and it won't be pretty, but devotees of the coaching art will be glued to the spectacle. There's no such thing as a breeze when you're going against the best in the business. Beyond the obvious slowing down the tempo, ideally preventing the Warriors from a transition game blitz Popovich will have to be especially creative against a team that has won eight of the past nine matchups, including the playoffs. From the standpoint of talent, this is the Warriors' best possible first-round draw. If they do a reasonable job guarding Law Marcus Aldridge, a first-team All-NBA candidate who loves to operate out of the left block as a power forward, they shouldn't have any grave concerns. And how perfect that head coach Steve Kerr has the right man for the job. In the manner of the Clippers' Blake Griffin, Aldridge sees Draymond Green and grows uneasy. Thanks mostly to Green, who just loves to get in a big man's head, Aldridge averaged only 11.3 points and shot 38.5% over the last three games of the Warriors' sweep in last year's Western Conference Finals, following Kawhi Leonard's Game 1 injury. Popovich called him timid after a particularly weak showing in Game 2, and Aldridge felt so detached from the Spurs' fabled system, he asked to be traded over the summer. Popovich solved that crisis in a sit-down with Aldridge, who has responded magnificently all season. But with Green, Kevin Durant, and J.A. Vale McGee offering some choice possibilities for a double team and the Warriors not terribly concerned with anyone else Aldridge will be hard-pressed to make a significant difference. He did have a 33-point game against the Warriors last month in San Antonio, but did most of his damage after Green departed with a pelvic contusion. Ten days earlier, in Oakland, Green knew he had to step up when Stephen Curry departed with an ankle injury, and Green shut down Aldridge in the fourth quarter of a Golden State win. Everybody in the gym knows who they're going to, Green said that night. I wanted to stop him so we could win the game. But, also, I don't want to be embarrassed because I know everyone is watching that matchup. Is anyone embarrassed in San Antonio over the Leonard mystery? A lot of people should be, including the man himself. Here's one of the league's top five players sitting out virtually the entire season with a quad injury, rejecting clearance to play from the Spurs medical staff and seeking outside opinions. Popovich essentially rules him out indefinitely, but offers no official word, saying it will be up to Leonard's group, whatever that is. There's no shortage of outsiders' opinions, ex-players Reggie Miller, Nate Robinson, and Steven Jackson all claiming that Leonard has grown disenchanted and won't be with the team next season. Meanwhile, the Spurs have to wonder about committing to a five-year, $220 million Supermax deal for which Leonard is eligible. A number of signs indicate the club has turned on him. But when is someone going to talk for the record? Spurs fans are badgering the club's beat writers, demanding to know something definitive. And yet nothing. Leonard is naturally shy and reserved, but for heaven's sake, man, say something. If you're looking for some vintage Spurs without Leonard, you'd love the ad currently running on San Antonio television featuring Tony Parker and Manu Gino Billy in chef's aprons, extolling the virtues of a veggie pasta to teammates. With their endearing accents, French and Argentine, respectively, they even sound like gourmet cooks. And it should be said that each has a little something left, Popovich gave Parker 20 minutes of floor time in Wednesday night's season finale the most for the 35-year-old since mid-March and he responded with 5 for 10 shooting. Gino Billy, 40 and feeling many years younger, dramatically scored 8 straight points down the stretch in a victory over Portland on Saturday. If there's a bit of romance to it all, enjoy those precious moments when the Spurs turn back the clock. Unfortunately for San Antonio, it's 2018 in real time, and the Warriors have some very big plans. They'll wrap up this series in five.